What up, Coop Group? Welcome to Alliance War Season 41, War Number 12. The final war of Alliance War Season 41, where DSVG goes against SGA for the Battle of Masters. That's right. Both of us are currently in the edge of Masters or in Platinum. In order to stay in Masters or to win Masters, someone has to win. So if we win, we get Masters, and they fall into Platinum. If they win, they fall out of Masters and get into Platinum. So they banned Hercules, Torch, and Scorp, which is the main bands of the season. Um, always the prize of Scorpion isn't a main band next season. And yeah, I got a big war for you. I got nine fights, as the thumbnail said. Um, it's a final war, and last war, I only had four fights, so I have to make up for it. I have so much boost ready just to throw out for the, this whole all-out war to make sure that we win. And bad. everyone plays well. SGA plays well. We play well. Except for one person, SGA, who got kicked in the first, like, two hours of war. My god, how do you kick someone in the final war? That's terrible. And I almost joined SGA. It was between SGA and DSVG. But the winner of this war gets Coop. That's right. I'm saying it. Although I wish I said it at the beginning of the war. Not now, because I already know the result. But anyways, the final war, I'm on path 6 and then path 5. Past six, there's this rank four SIG 200 Doom. Um, the main thing here is I want to bait a special one. I don't want to bait spe his special two because I will take it to my block and there is that extra prowess he's getting. Um, I am doing some heavy attacks to stagger him to make sure he doesn't get all of those um, all of those prowess from the Deja Vu prowess. Um, right here, I'm just waiting out the aura. I'm going to throw my special. I'm not sure why I did any light attack there at all, but I'm going to throw my special three. And I'm hoping to melt him. i hoping he doesn't throw any special at all into me. Um, he was in duels throwing specials at me. Heavy attack right here. Another heavy attack. Or not, just backing off because I don't want him to go to a special two. Because um, I don't want to take the block. And I'm trying to not use that much potions. And if I throw, if I let him throw a special two into my block, it's going to do a lot of damage. And this Doom is basically down right here. Sorry, Doom. First fight down. Only lost 7% health, which isn't bad against a rank 4 Doom at all. And I thought it'd be a rank 5, but against a rank 4 Doom, not bad at all. Now against this thing. Now, yes, I do have Valkyrie on my team. However, I'm going to use Gallon for this fight. Gallon is much quicker than Valkyrie. Um, plus, the fact that it's aggression prowess. If I use Valkyrie, he's going to gain a lot of prowess. And I don't feel like having gained his, gain his prowess at all. Because if I take a special to the face in an accident with all that prowess, I'm going to get hurt. My main goal here is to watch rock stacks. When I, when, um, I throw a special one when he's at 12 rock stacks. Um, and yeah, I can, I can put neutralize on him all I want. It's all right. But I'm not going to. And it's just a normal thing fight. I thought fought thing on path five last war. This one is much easier. Um, activate my... <laughs> activate my harvest. Boom, and he's dead. So I didn't think that I'd actually kill him that quickly, um, and it did. felt pretty good because my harvest was barely even built up. Now this Chavez is a POS. This is probably my worst fight of this war. Um, I've died one time this so far this season, and I'm trying my best not to die one more time, but hey, who knows? The main goal against this Chavez is to make sure she doesn't throw too much of her heavy attacks. And to make sure I have my Haymaker. And yeah, I can bait Special 1 all I want. Because I'm not going to activate Mystic Dispersion. Which is real, my favorite thing about using Titania against Mystics. Is they don't get any Mystic Dispersion at all. Because you don't have any um, built up buffs at all. Because you can't get buffs. So it's going okay so far. I'm just trying to get to my Special 3. And I'm trying to hold my, my Involve just in case I need to use it. And my gosh. I'm going to use it. Did I put Involve in this fight? I think I used an Involve in this fight. Just because I want to be safe and I have Involve to spare. She throws a heavy attack and now she has one of her um, dimensions. Throws a second heavy attack. She has two dimensions. One more heavy attack and she's going to... Right there. Now reflect my damage. Which isn't good at all. So I'm actually going to push her to special 2 on purpose. with all. I guess she's going to have all of her um, dimensions. Which means recoil basically. Anytime you hit her, she does damage back. But... I have my Haymaker on. She throws a special 3 right away, which is really nice. I have my Haymaker, so I take this using basically an Invuln. And any damage I take when hitting her right now is not going to be reflected because I have 
um, invulnerability, unstoppable, and unblockable. So it's really nice doing some damage here, trying to wait out that um, her silly, stupid dimension she's throwing. Throw a heavy attack there. Got really lucky there because I'm not sure what happens. Um, but she's going to throw a heavy attack right here. Actually, no. This is the pivotal part of this fight. She did not throw a heavy attack right there. She threw a full combo into me, which makes it possible for me to actually get an in to finish off this fight. Throw a heavy attack right or not. I'm just trying to get this special three, I think. Heavy attack right or not again. There's a heavy attack. She throws a special two into me with a dimension up. I have my haymaker. Not a big deal. Perry heavy here. Late heavy attack. Throw a special three and she's dead. So that fight was way too long. Um... I think first war of the season, I fought against a Chavez in the snow. It took three minutes. And it was not that messy. Yes, I'm yawning. That fight made me yawn. <laughs> but yeah, I brought Gallon also made in for this penny. Um, power snack. But Gallon cannot be nullified. Therefore, power snack does not apply. So not sure why they placed a penny on this node. She's super easy. Not sure who they were trying to... Keep away from. Like, maybe not my Titania, but I have a Gallon. And don't you guys watch my videos? <laughs> uh, hitting it into her block. Just getting my Harvest up really high right now. Uh, get the Power Sting. I'm going to try and throw a Special 3. A Special 2 or 1, whatever. Um, and Harvest when I don't have a Power Sting on me. I think I'm going to push her right here to another bar of power. Um, accidental Intercept, not a big deal. But I'm basing a Perry Hyper here in a second. Um, power things off. I think I'm going to heavy attack right here. Or not. That was kind of that special one. Heavy attack there. Throw a special one. And 780 harvest. Boom. She is destroyed. So thank you, Rank 4 Gallon. I'm so glad I ranked 4 him. Um, I want to rank 5 him one day. It'll happen. Um, obviously that, that, uh, Chavez fight was really messy. So I had to put on a few potions. Because I have two more fights with her. But... I have two more fights with Gallon. He's at 100% health right now. Hoping not to lose too much health. But I am going to be beating out a lot of heavy attacks from this kitty. Uh, basically, bait harvest, bait special 1. Because when she throws special 1 below 10 prowess, all of the prowess goes away. So uh, my goal is to get my intercept using my harvest. Because uh, I have the unstoppable. And I don't want her to gain too much prowess. But she's getting a lot of prowess right here. She's phasing. Oh no, what do I do? Do not hit the phase. I should have put that down there also. It was a goal to not hit her phase. But yeah, speed heavy attacks. I don't want to parry because I don't want to give her accidental prowess. If it happens, it happens. Throw a special one because I'm going to build up. I accidentally got a intercept, but not a big deal. Um, but I know my first harvest is probably going to kill her. So as long as I don't hit into her phase, I'm not going to even bother hitting into her right here. Because I know that I might accidentally hit into her phase. Back off here. And it's bait heavy. I know my next harvest is probably going to kill her. So I'm just going to bait harvest. I threw this stupidly. That was so dumb. I threw my harvest when she had prowess. Not a big deal. I'm going to insert off right here. Um, and throw on my special with ebb and flow intercept. Boom. She's dead. 100,000. A little longer than I wanted to go. Because stupidly I threw a parry heavy when she had two or three prowess. But it's okay. So I was waiting on my buddy Miffers in path four to move. He promised me he'd be in at, I think, 10 p.m. my time. So I'm like, all right, I started moving. I put a, um, right here, a six-hour boost. I'm like, all right, he should be here in the next few hours. So I'm going to do this in the next fight just to clear so when he comes in. Um, and he was not in two hours later. I'm like, wait, it's midnight. I got to get to work tomorrow. Crud. I need him to be. So I was calling him. I was tagging him. Um, and I just decided, you know what? I'm going to move and clear him. So when he comes in, he can at least clear my bishop node 50. So I get to 53. Uh, I really wanted to do all these fights right away. But anyways, didn't happen the way. But it's a very important war. So I'm just not going to risk anything. Stick to the plan. This Nova is interesting. I put an invuln on on purpose. Because last war, I fought the same Nova. But Flourish was down. Um, well, global... Planetary Endurance was down. But it's been 20 seconds already. He hasn't thrown a special 3. It takes him a whole like 30 seconds to throw a special 3. I have an involved, Not a big deal. This is my last gallon fight right now. Um, but my gosh. 
he is not throwing a special three. Please just throw it. Just throw it. So good thing about Gallon and using his um, attack to tactic for subdue for this fight is that I can turn off um, his fury, which makes it so he never gains too much of his Nova charges. And although that's not what it's called, it makes it easier. So I activated my um, my harvester. Not sure why, to be honest. But right here, I'm gonna do try and get my intercept off right here. Intercept, awesome, special one. And he should be a goner. So, boom. He's dead. 173,000. Um, and I had a lot of health left. So, honestly, Gallon pulled through this war. Did a really good job. Now into this Rintra. Um, I asked my buddy, Freddy Pit Loser. He was done with this war and done with the season. He had an amazing season. I asked him to just place a white mags pre right here. Not a big deal because I don't really need it. <laughs> because Titania is a villain. A lot better. But... It is what it is. So, this is Evan Flow Incept and Mighty Charge. My goal is to knock him down often. Um, get Incept off very soon. Right here, do my Block Sept. Um, perfect Block Sept right there. Um, and I like this fight a lot better with Ghost. Because you can convert the um, convert the Ruptures to Furies. But it is what it is. Not a big deal. Um, I do, I'm able to counter his Heavy Attack with my Heavy Attack, which is really nice. Uh, this fight does go a little long. I do mess up the first Haymaker, which you'll see. Um, or the first special three Haymaker I mess up. And we'll get there. Um, try to do a block step right here. Perfect. He runs into it. Thank you. Um, I thought I had a stagger up, but Mighty Charge turned it off. Very heavy. Turn away his charges. And I wish I sped this up. I probably should. Um, just try and get that special three. That's all my goal is here is special three and melt. And it should take two special threes, hopefully less. Um, I'm going to count those as a heavy. I'm going to try and get my block stepped off right here. I should be doing a block step right here. Perfect special three. And something goes wrong, somewhere at least. Um, but I just turned on the ebb and flow. Maybe I turned it on earlier, an accident. Yeah, exactly. I turned on earlier, an accident right there. So um, luckily, you threw a special two into my haymaker, so it didn't hurt. It could have hurt a lot. Um, I should have just fed for an intercept right here. Just to do more damage. But the special 3 did do a lot of damage. But it would have done so much more damage if Evan Flow didn't end too early. But it happens. Um, going to get a block step off right here. Not going to bother with a heavy attack. Because why bother when he has no charges? Please run at me. Block step. Perfect. Got it. Do a little bit more damage. He has willpower. I think I'm running 2 out of 3 to spare. Um... And now it's time to heal up. Got an armor break on me from the node. And hopefully he gets to my special 3 and this fight is over. I'm going to speed up the rest of this fight to get to the special 3. Because really it's the same thing over and over. I should have sped up for you earlier. Got my block stepped right there. Awesome. Um, and just going to throw my special 3. Well, I need to get another intercept off right here. Got it. Perfect intercept. And special 3 it should kill. If not, the Haymaker Cycle at the end of this will kill. Throw him against the wall. Screw you, Intra. And just a few hits here. And he's dead. Well, one hit. And I finished at 100% health. So that went really well. Um, thank you, Armor Break. And I set an alarm for two hours later. Because I thought he'd be awake. Two hours, hopefully. And he cleared me. So thankfully, I think it was like 2 or 3 a.m. at this point. I was I was a bit peeved, but it's okay. Um, I did a lot of duels at this time. I woke up, did some duels to make sure I was awake. And I did these fights and went to sleep. To be honest, I woke up. I don't remember doing these fights. Um, but this is Valkyrie versus No. 53 Mole Man. Really good counter for this fight. Um, he is a, a tactic, tactic, uh, well, defender tactic, sorry. This means if you block him, he gets flourish, but it's not a big deal as long as they don't parry. That's the main thing here is don't parry. Hands was blocked to build my, pier build my pierce, um, and I'm going to invert my combo in a second. So I could throw a special two right here, but I want to, I could throw it again the next time, but I want to be near the 40 mark. So I'm going to do a 5 hit combo, ending a light attack to invert my combo if he wants to back up. Perfect. Um, get that pierce, revert, get that bulwark, do some extra damage. Felt pretty good. Run here. Awesome. Do some ni nice big damage here. And sped up for your convenience. Because why? Do we you don't want to see this fight. Um, so yeah, he's just, I, mean, I can hit him normal. I love when I can just hit him normal. It's fun. And Valkyrie did a great job this war with one fight. Good job, Valkyrie, for the whole season. Uh, he never died. 
happy for you. <laughs> the final fight of the season for me is Titania versus Ebony Maul. I did this fight earlier in the season. I'm going to put an invul on. I did put a PS1 boost on last fight because I had it and I'm not wasting, not skipping on boosts. Um, putting on... I uh, oh, almost put on a skill boost there. I remember that because it was so early in, in, in the night. Um, almost put on a mystic boost there too, but put on the proper boost. I think I put... I'm not sure if I put my invul on yet. I think I put it on here or if I already put it on. I'm silly for already putting it on. I see that my PS1 is about to end. And I'm like, no, I need to invul on. Because if, if it gets a special 2 and hits me or a special 3, I'm in trouble. So invul on. I'm just going to knock him down with a heavy attack right away. And he does not feed into it. I hate when that happens. Go try it again. Didn't feed again. Whatever. So now I'm going to let him build his focus, which kind of sucks. Um, he's focused and he's going to build his charges. But I'm just going to bait special 1. Hopefully I can counter with a heavy. Awesome. And heavy attack it is. So he built, I got thir like 13 focus on me. Oh, that second heavy attack was very risky. With stand your ground. Very risky. I'm going to bait special 1 here. I have my haymaker already. But I hope he throws it. He doesn't. So I'm just going to throw a heavy attack here. Um, I waste my first hit. My indestructible because I'm dumb. But again, I have my haymaker. So it was safe. Just need to get to my special 3. Going to tap him right here because brute force is ticking on me. Please throw a special 2. Please throw a special 2. I think I'm dashing back too much. Hit him again. And he's not. And now falter. I could have died there. Come on, man. Throw it. Nice and step there. He's not throwing it in my corner. Luckily, I don't have to succumb to anything. And I, I'm watching the falter timer again. Um, I do have my haymaker ready. Throw a heavy attack. I'll lose the next two hits of my indestructible. And I need to be a special right here. Need to be a special. Need him to throw a special one. Take it from brute force again. Uh, not a big deal. He's at a special two again. I have my haymaker ready in case I need it. Um, and I think right here I throw it because he has no power. Um, and yeah, I had to make sure that he wasn't focused. Or else I could accidentally go falter right here. I don't feel like faltering. Two heavy attacks right here. A few hits. I think light attacks or something just to push him. It's okay to push him to special two. Just block it. Not a big deal. Parry there. Throw a heavy attack. Throw a special two right here or, or not. And finish him off. So two minute fight. I did this in a minute and a half last time. He just didn't throw that special two. It's what wasted time. And my season is over. Nine fights this war. Felt so good. Um, it was up to everyone else not to die. I think we were up three to two at this moment. And drum roll, we won this war. And so it felt really good to win, win this war with Titania being the main bay with half of my fights. So, okay, under half my fights. Um, with 33 fights with Titania, Gallon 21, Valk 9, which means that this war I used my most common attackers of the season. Um, and 85 fights this season. I want to be honest. I think in the last 10 seasons, that's the most I've had in one season. But we ended up winning 3 to 5. Um, one of the officers was saying that if anyone dies, they can kick them. So I feel bad for the five people who died because <laughs> they were kicked. Um, they had a quick time too, so we had to win. Um, but yeah, nine fights, as you see, this war. Our streak was six and six, which is not the best streak. We had a lot of wars, which we were able to win, like against GT40. They died three times against us. And we could have beat them because we were up, but we ended up dying. So yeah. Path 6, Path 5, I was a Path 5 king. I think I took Path 6 once, as you see here. Um, and I took Node 25 a lot. The shared Node a lot. Um, I was a very, very good um, summoner for this season, for this alliance. And I touched every single mini boss except for 48. So I was pretty pissed about that. But next season, I plan to touch every single mini boss. I even touched a boss node three times, although I died once this season. 85 and 1. But my death streak, I think, is 65, something like that. Um, so I'm pretty happy with this season. And that's a pretty good death streak. I'm hoping to make it to 100 next next season. Um, but yeah. Going to do some, some season rewards. I'm probably going to open them off screen. But thank you for coming to this war video. Thank you for coming to my war season. And hopefully your season rewards were awesome. Hopefully your season went well. Congrats to everyone who hit Masters and everyone who hit Plat and hit your goals. You guys are awesome. It's Coop. Sign off. Happy gaming.